Hello, good morning. And we are live again. Another week has flown by um, and we've, we've reached February. So today it's Tuesday, the 1st of February, and I'm going to be stamping with another new product from the mini catalog. So I'm just going to check that I'm live in the right place. Somebody's joining. If you, if you are, please say hello. Just bear with me while I sort all the settings. Lie on your bed, you. Go and lie down, good boy. Somebody is here. Okay, I think I'm live in the right place. Hasn't thrown me out just yet. So today I'm gonna to be stamping. You might have seen, if you follow me on Facebook, you may have seen that I popped up a little photo. Let's clean my glasses while I chat. Um, just sharing the products that I'm using. So we're using the Hello Ladybug. It's a really sweet set and I've not had much time to play with this. So what, once again, what you are seeing is all I have created with it, but I feel this is gonna be a good one for like Valentine's for teacher gifts and things. Um, and I think because like ladybirds are generally um, red and black, and I think that just will sing really well with Valentine projects. Good morning, Lucianne. How are you doing? I still have a frog in my throat, so I'm gonna be continually coughing to clear it. I don't have a cough, just trying to clear it. It's very annoying. So <clears throat> always, always dry throat. So how are we all doing? So how are you, Lucianne? What have you been up to? Doing anything different? Did you have a good weekend? Always feels like it was miles away, the weekend. Um, we didn't do a great deal. I worked on Saturday morning. Jason usually works on Saturday morning. Um, so I come over here and, and get some jobs done. And we did the food shop on Saturday afternoon, a bit of babysitting, and that was Saturday done and dusted. Um, Sunday we headed out. I managed to drag Jason to Loaf to sit on some sofas. So that was entertaining. Um, good morning, Ellie. How are you? Lucianne, Lily's got a cold. Oh, I thought that said cold. She's got COVID. Oh, bless her. Is she okay, Lucianne? How is she? How is she feeling? Have you all had it yet? Have you and Anthony had it? Oh dear, goodness me. It's hard to keep away from it at the moment, isn't it? Right, I think I'm going to get you down to my desk and let's get on with some stamping. Um, got a couple of cards to create with you today. Quite fun, quite cheery. Um, hello Tessa, if you're joining. Good morning. Lucianne. Lily's fine, just a bit of a cough. Bless her heart, sending you some hugs. It's rotten when they're unwell, isn't it? I feel that the grandchildren are constantly sniffing and coughing. It's that time of year, isn't it? We, we kind of all are, so. Good evening, Vicky. How are you doing? Right, let's move some things out of the way. Get you down. Remember to move my grid paper over that way a little bit this time. So bear with the palm of the hand while I turn you down, move everything about, hopefully. Get the light switched on because <clears throat> I feel it does make a huge difference. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, my MacBook is frozen, so not sure how far <clears throat> I am zooming in. Let's have a little drink. Throat's gone all dry. So I've pulled out my mini catalogue. We're not too bad. I can't read comments though when it does this. Super annoying. Um, Vicky's saying hi. Right. Let's just go that way a little bit and that should be somewhere <clears throat> near. I think so. It is beautiful here. Sunday morning was beautiful as well. We we went down the lane to say it quietly because he knows what that is for a W-A-L-K. Um, and it was beautiful. First thing, sun was shining. A bit breezy though. It's still a bit breezy now, but I can see blue sky. I can see the hills. 
but I can see the trees sway swaying around a lot. So, <clears throat> Annette, hello, if you are joining. Okay, let's make a start. So this morning, I am going to be using the Hello Ladybug. It's a photopolymer. I haven't labelled this up. Still haven't got any um, of that printer label. Printer sheet. What's it called? I need a new cartridge for my label printer. So still haven't like labelled some of my newer stuff. But gorgeous, gorgeous set. Um, there's a builder punch that coordinates with this one. So you can see it cuts out the body and the wings, which are going to be so much more. Let's find it in here so you can see it. So we've got Hello Ladybug stamps. We've got the Ladybug Builder Punch that goes with it. And of course, if you buy both together, you save yourself 10% on the bundle. So bring those in a moment also this coordinates it must say in the book let us just grab <clears throat> it just says coordinates with ladybug builder punch but i was thinking does this coordinate with the daisy punch that we have the small one let's have a look medium daisy I don't know if it does looks like it does that's the medium daisy punch that we have I don't have it I only have the daisy one the larger one above but they look the same size so I would imagine it does I need to order that medium daisy punch don't I <clears throat> and try it but a really sweet set loads of stamps in here 15 um really really cute so today I thought I would steer away, steer away from, sorry, reading comments. <clears throat> Somebody says it does, Vicky, I'm guessing you're saying about the medium daisy. I think it does, um, but the, the punch looks slightly narrow. So what I'm guessing, if I bring that back in again, The pictures here are true to size and the, the daisy here looks a lot slimmer than this one. So I'm guessing that when you punch it out, you don't get the white gap around the edge <clears throat> that we often get. Um, so we're going to be using these two today. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, Kim. How are you, my lovely? Nice to have you join us. So I've got a couple of things to talk about just before we start stamping because there's a lot going on and I will share them again quickly at the end. Let's move that back in my basket and then I promise we'll get stamping. So I've got a few things to remind you about. I have just scheduled in the first coffee and card for this year. So that's at my local cafe and deli. Um, at the hub in Ashleworth and it's Tuesday the 15th of February so two weeks today it's a drop in like a coffee and card is drop in make a card have a cup of tea or a coffee and then disappear and get on with your day so it's a really good way if you you want to introduce yourself to something different because we just make one simple card um, or if you are coming from a distance then I do have the option to stay and make three cards so you can do that because that's what we've done in the past so that's coffee and card coming up i need to remind you that a whole month has gone of our first celebration of the year so you only have one more month left to choose the free goodies that you want from the little brochure that's this one okay so when you spend 45 pounds you choose one item free and there are some lovely items at the back of that book that are free with a 90 pound spend now along with celebration comes a promotion to join my team so there's another whole month left of that so don't hesitate if you've been thinking about it if you've got a wish list of of items it's definitely worth joining because you get to choose two extra free stamp sets Today, there's so much going on at the moment, guys. Today, we've had the release of a new collection of products, and this is the All Together collection. And it is a set of stamps and dies that are available individually or as a bundle. 
We've got some gorgeous designer series paper and then we have some new blends, which I was talking about last week. So um, yeah, blends are, I've got an order going through today and they are going on my list. I didn't pre-order anything purely because I have so many products to play with at the moment that I'm not getting through them. So I thought I would hold back, hold fire for a bit and get those this month. And then finally, a little sneak peek, something very exclusive coming called Waves of the Ocean. It's available from March. It's a bundle, again, stamps, dies, papers, foils, jewels, available as a collection. But that's not until next month. So we don't need to worry too much about that yet. We need to focus on the present. Okay, let's bring in my first kit. Mounted everything on a little stand over here to try and make it easier for me. <clears throat> and I've got my stamps ready. Here are my bits and pieces. So what have we all been up to? Kim, you're good. And hope all is well in my world. It is. It's busy. Things are busy around here. Family, work, you know, trying to get the balance can often be tricky. Um, but I am, I'm focusing on it. I'm trying to not be the world's biggest procrastinator because I'm good at that. Um, and trying to organise myself a bit more and um, get on with things and stop faffing about so much. I'm a definite faffer. Okay, so I'm starting with a basic white base. Folding it in half, usual size, and I've got a baddie as well. I don't know how I did it yesterday, but I've got a baddie. Usual size, five and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And I've just folded that down the middle. I very rarely score my cards. I find if you've got a bone folder, you will get a good, a good crease. So that is my base. Now, other products, what am I using? So we're using the Hello Ladybug. And that, you know, is the bundle with the punch. But last week I played with this and I thought I would bring it out again because it's such a usable set. Um, £27, it's amazing value, but who doesn't love a hexagon? And I showed you this die last week um, I created with using that circular shape that has these lines in it, which actually... Um, kind of emboss they don't cut they emboss so and this over one does the same as well haven't used that one yet so yeah it's finding finding the time to get through all of these products but this one at the moment I'm sort of focusing on because I think it's such a great set um, that you can just add to any any projects that you're doing so going to be using some of the hexagons on there let us start with a bit of die cutting and then we can do some stamping. So I'm going to pull back in this set and we've got four, well we've got more than four sizes because we've got these smaller dies here as well which I will be using I think on my next card but today I'm just checking what size is. I think we're using these two smaller sizes here grab my plates still got a bendy top plate i haven't replaced it yet so can you see this isn't the best way to be stamping uh die cutting because it wobbles around everywhere um and i haven't flattened it out i'm tempted to just pop it in the oven for a bit and flatten it but i don't recommend you do that because the last one i did i shrank it a bit Right, got a couple of bits of washi tape and I, what I'm going to do is cut out, this is the front layer of my card and using this hexagon, I have no idea how low this needs to be but let's just guesstimate, two cards are never exactly the same are they? And then I'm going to lay this one just up here, just trying to, I want it to be straight if I can. like that and you can see where my top plate bowed it has cracked 
but it still works, so I'm still using it. I'm just gonna run that through quickly. Oh, just thought, good pointer here. Before I do that, I know that this, because this plate has got etch, etched marks in it, it's going to imprint onto this front layer and I don't want that. So I'm gonna put a piece of scrap paper, I showed you this last week, over the top and that will just protect this layer underneath. So I almost forgot that step. It just keeps it nice and fresh and clean. Hopefully you can see that. There, it's, it still looks fresh and smooth and kind of no indentations on it. Just checking comments there. Now I have to be careful because I tore my original doing this by pulling off the washi tape with being impatient and pulled it too fast and tore a bit of the paper. So these two pieces I'm going to save and use. Let's just gently pull that off. Put these dies back. <clears throat> so I've just created like an aperture on my front layer. And then what I'm gonna do next, from the stamp set, how cute is this little dot? It's a tiny, tiny teeny got something on my block there teeny tiny little dotty stamp but it is super sweet haven't even shown you my color combo have i it's hard to sit let's show you from here because i've got different stickers on here so i'm using soft sea foam and blushing bride so no red in sight for my ladybird today and then of course i need a bit of memento for the black of the ladybird so let's open up these inks. I did a re-ink on both of these and I could do with a bit more ink on them. Let's pull in my sponge mat. And then with this little dot, I'm gonna create a background. Just check in on comments. Coffeeing card is fun, isn't it? Is that is something you do, I think? Do you, Kim? Do you go out and do that? I know a lot of us do. Colour combo is typical me, isn't it? Very soft and subtle. Although I've been very brave lately. I'm impressed with myself. My six card class that's going up on my events website later is very bright for me. Very bright. And I'm kind of enjoying embracing a bit of colour, but I will always be, I think happy in my comfort zone of subtles. So all I'm gonna do is create with this little dot, I'm just checking you can see, I might have to zoom you in. I'm gonna do like a background pattern. So I always start by stamping like on a diagonal and then where I've stamped one, I kind of go in the middle and move across so that we get like a random pattern and work my way. Where do I want to go from here? Um, here. Work my way. Oh, a smudgeroo. Can't do anything about that now. My finger went in it. Let's just wipe it on my jeans. Make sure I don't get it anywhere else. <clears throat> And then just fill in, one would be there, one would be there. Fill in the background with this sweet little dotty stamp. Don't want to kind of give it overkill. I mean, we could kind of, can you see my little finger smudge? I could just go over that and we probably wouldn't notice. Let's just do it. Just do it. It's like a smudgy splodge. It's fine. It is fine. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Next, 
I was really inspired just showing you this collection here. I will most definitely be grabbing, putting this paper into my basket this morning. But it reminded me of the host set that we've got. Bring it in here. I think it's called Pattern Party. Let me check. So this is available only as a host gift. It's in the host section at the back of the annual catalogue. Um, yeah, it's called Pattern Party and there's 48 sheets in this pack. And on one side, oh, that's a random old pack of DSP in there. On one side, they're all black and white images and on the other, they are these beautiful, bright pieces, some of which I will probably never use, but I do love a lot of them. So I thought I would use a bit of this I mean, this would look lovely with the colours that I'm using. So I'm just using a teeny weeny, and I mean teeny weeny, little stripey border to go down on the bottom of my card. And it's just going to sit down here. Now I want, I need a, a black bit at the end to make it stand out, if that makes sense. So I'm going to chop it right where that black piece ends as well. And then we'll just stick that on. Get the Tombow going and get the wet wipe out ready. I forgot to wash out my chamois this morning, so it's a little bit dry. Right, teeny weeny bit of Tombow on here. So it's a little bit dry and a bit grubby. I need to give it a wash out later. And then it's quite skinny and fiddly. It's gonna stick that one down. Oh, stuck to my finger just up from the bottom of my card just line it up with my grid paper i think that is straight got a little bit of tombow escaping let's just scrape that off let's just check comments a minute So we've just got a little skinny border down at the bottom. Now, my original thought on this card was I was going to create a shaker card. But it failed miserably. And I, the reason I wanted a shaker was because, I don't know if you've seen these, these are the new frosted beads. They're in the mini catalogue. They are just delicious. I mean, you need to make sure you put the lid back on tight because these little sweeties um they roll everywhere and they bounce so yeah you need to be in control of them but they are beautiful and i thought yep yeah, i'm going to turn this into a shaker card so i didn't think about it to obviously didn't think about it enough i put my foam on the back i put my window sheet on i filled in my little um put the little beads inside popped my bit of cardstock on the back and because of the depth of these beads they didn't move they just stuck to the window sheet and didn't shake at all so failed miserably on that one but you know that's how we learn so this is where the card went from then so what i'm going to do i'm just kind of create created this aperture i'm just going to pop on some mini dimensionals and then i've cut this piece of soft sea foam. Did I get one then or just the lid? Just the lid. Just to cover over those gaps. So this, this is the front layer of my card, which is usually three and three quarters by five and three eighths, which it is. She says, is that five and three? Yeah. And then this piece that I'm just mounting on the back is literally just to make sure it covers these two hexagons and it just measures three and a quarter by four inches. So let's just pull off the back of those and stick that on like that. So did I say this is soft sea foam? I think I did. And then we end up with like a lovely an aperture but but a raised front on it just for a bit of
different, um, not texture, because it's not texture, but just for depth, I guess. You know me, I love my layers and I love raising cards. Now, what we want to do now is pop this onto our base card. And I just thought, because we're raised up already, if we just add a couple of dimensionals to the white part of here. Let's put one in the middle so that it doesn't sag at all. And then add Tombow on this layer. Take those off first. And then a bit of Tombow on there. Then this should just sit nicely at one level and when it goes in the post it, it should stay at this height kind of not sag anywhere job to see if that's straight but put the glue on there <clears throat> hello Kay just catching up on comments how are you doing hope you are well <clears throat> I'm trying to control this frog in my throat. If I could get it to go away, I would do anything for that right now because it's very annoying. Okay, now, do you remember I had these two pieces spare that were from here? I'm going to take this and the gorgeous hive embossing folder. I showed you this one last week. I used it. I'm just going to run through my machine. We have to take some plates off. So we have just our base plate. Then the, because this is a 3D um, embossing folder, we just need to use this top plate here. Just run that through. I do love this machine. The stamping pattern emboss machine is, is brilliant. It's easy to use. I think the layers are quite understandable. Look at that. Let's put that back over there. I like both sides of this. Today I'm going to use this side. The other thing I need to do now, let's actually stamp. Now, because we are using photopolymer, these are the wings. Need to remove that label there. It's, a bit, it's falling off, isn't it? These are the wings, and we're going to be using the builder punch to punch them out. Now, with any builder punch, when you get it, you soon learn how to be savvy with your cardstock. I cannot bear um, waste. <laughs> call me tight, call me whatever you like, I don't care. Um, but I do not like wasting things. So what I've done is I've cut myself a strip of cardstock. I think this is one and a half inches, if I remember right. Yep. And that means when I'm stamping, I'm going to stamp in the direction that they will be punched out. So just to make my life easier, I am not going to feed in a big piece of card. You could make yourself a a template like we've done, like I did with the strawberry builder punch. You can make yourself a template and then mount all of your stamps onto one block and stamp at the same time. But because I'm using different colors, I thought the way I'm gonna use it today is like this and let me show you. So my, my wings face that way. So I'm going to take this strip and stamp in the Blushing Bride who loves Blushing Bride? Or is it too wishy-washy for you? I couldn't decide whether to use Blushing Bride or Petal Pink today. Now this strip is wider because, give that a good firm press. That wasn't very pretty. I'm gonna do another. I think, it, look at my, I haven't smooched my ink very evenly when I've re-inked, so it's a bit blotchy. Let's have another go. That's better. Let's cut that one off. So I'm going to punch out the wings first. So you can see this just slides in 
Now, if I was doing a whole load of these, I would cut it a bit narrower. Probably an inch would work for that. So it just lines in beautifully and punches out. As simple as that. And then I think from this end, let's bring in the memento. And I've given this a good re-ink because um, the actual ladybird, we call it a ladybird here in the UK. Well, I do. Um, but I, I'm guessing in America they call it a ladybug. I don't know. And I'm going to ink it up, give it a good ink because this is completely solid, this stamp, and we want a really good coverage. So, oh, let's look at the punch. So it's going face down and because I want something to hold on to, I want this to go in my punch this way. So let's stamp it the way it is on the punch and ink it down. So I had a little bit of mist there, but I'm not too worried about that. And I do find, like, if you get a little bit of a miss, I was doing this yesterday, take a bit of ink on the corner of your stamp and kind of, like, smudge it over. Or if you've got... If you've got the black marker pen, just fill in if, if yours is a bit gappy. Um, but I do highly recommend whenever you buy an ink pad, get the reinker because you'd be surprised how, how much ink we use on certain colours. Kay, you call it a ladybird too. Yeah, I, I think maybe that's just a UK European thing. I don't know. And then you can see. This one just feeds in. I may need to just hold this to me a bit so that I can punch it out. Alfie's just got fed up with my talk and gone downstairs. <laughs> and then you can see we have very little waste there. It's a bit close there, but... And that's another thing to think about when you... I said, I've said this before, but when you mount your stamps onto the block, put your stamp down on the table and let it, let it relax to its where it should be. Because once you start moving things around, um, you might move an antennae, which would mean then, like here, it hasn't punched out. Do you see, there's a bit of, there's not a white gap on this bit here. So I've got ink on my fingers. So yeah, just be wary when you're mounting your stamps. So, with these two here, I'm literally going to give my wings a bit of life. Pop on a dimensional. Now, this... I wanted that a bit lower, really. I wonder if that will come off. This... Um, oop, that's okay. This punch enables you to do this butterfly without stamps. Bit of Tombow just there to anchor that top bit. And then I'm going to just pop that straight on like that. How cute. How cute is that? So ladybirds don't have to be red, right? They can be whatever colour we want. <clears throat> and then in the set... I feel a bit lost today. I'm, I'm putting things back where they don't belong and can't find anything. I mean, they, look at all these stamps in this set. Beautiful. You've got this lovely leaf. I'm going to be using that one next. Um, but we've got this gorgeous trio of flowers. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I've mounted up ready. Okay, so let's have another bit of scrap. It's a bit here. Let's use that. And then with my Blushing Bride... Just stamp those down. Super pretty. <clears throat> and I need to cut all of those out. Let's just do stamping first and then I will cut. Now, as cute as the greetings are in here, we, we do find that when we're creating a project or something specific for somebody, we may not be able to use 
the the greetings that are in the set they may not be suitable for you know the occasion um, and when I'm sharing stamp sets I always do try and use the greetings that are in the set um, even if I have to like chop them up a little bit um, to make them work for me but on on this occasion because this is a new set as well and I, I am focusing on this um, I focused on it a lot last month, but it's such an amazing set. Honestly, at £23, you've got some really fabulous greetings in here that cover all the bases. And this one is a red rubber stamp. Oops, just lost my mat. And I'm going to ink it in Memento. Quick look at comments and a quick drink, I think. You like the ladybug, you think she's cute. <clears throat> I'm just going to ink up a happy birthday in memento. And then we'll snip it up. Might just grab my big scissors for that long word. Goodness me, nothing worse than a, a frog in the throat, especially not when you need to go live. Just what you don't need. So I'm just snipping really closely because I want that happy word as well, which is a bit tight to it, but hopefully it will work. I might have to turn the heating down as well. It's gone, it's gone mild here, hasn't it, in the UK? Having a little... Little mild spell for just for a couple of days, though, I think. By the weekend, we could be, like, needing our thermals on again. I don't know about you guys, but I would just like a bit of um, consistency with our weather. Hot one day, cold the next. At least it's dry at the moment. That's the main thing. So we've got happy and birthday. I think we can start putting this all together. So let's bring back in our card base. Okay, you like the celebrating you. Yeah, it's such a good, good all-rounder. It's got, you know, thanks, birthday, love, um, wedding, wishing you happy ever after, Mother's Day, great for newborn cards, <coughs> excuse me, Father's Day, anniversary, Congratulations, it's proud of you, you know, graduation or passing exams or passing driving tests. Easter, I mean, this has got it all. Definitely got it all. Right, let's get sticking. So my little hive hexagon, I'm going to put plenty of glue on there because it's like a very bumpy texture. And we're going to pop that one. Just over here, a bit closer maybe. Better check I'm in shot, yeah. Okay, it's chilly and breezy. Yeah, it's been breezy here as well. And um, it's deceiving because you look out and you think it's mild, um, but that wind gets you. Right, I'm going to pop my little ladybird. I'm going to hang it over. So remember, we've got, you know, this gap here. So if I pop a dimensional under her head. And then a little bit of Tombow here just to anchor her so she doesn't start twizzling and twirling. And then pop her down here somewhere. Like that. <clears throat> just need to quickly cut these flowers now i'm not going to lie these aren't the easiest flowers to trim around they are kind of very like random like the curves on them i mean you know me i love cutting anything doesn't bother me but because they're close together, they're stamped close together, you don't get a lot of white space in between them. So like just then, 
you start cutting and then you get to the edge of your paper and, and I think that's that's what doesn't help to create a smooth edge like when you've got such a close edge like that trying to make it smooth around it can be tricky if you know what I mean but of course this this trio of flowers would be beautiful as a background stamp in place of my little dots that I did. Depends how busy you like it. You all know I love a lot of white space and I know that's not for everybody. <clears throat> Let's start with a bit we can hold on to. So you see like when you get to here, that's when you're likely to get like a little rough, not a nice smooth rounded edge. Yep, so today I am going to be placing my order to get all of those new skin toned coloured blends pens. They look fabulous. I'm excited to get those. And as a demonstrator, I get to pre order from the new Waves of the Ocean bundle that's coming next month. So if you were thinking of joining, you could actually pre order that in your kit. How fun is that? Right, where's my take your pick tool? So let's just squeeze the centres of these flowers and I'm going to pop them on here. Let's give the end of my Tombow a little clean off. Quick look at comments. Hello, Annette, you like the pink wings. She is pretty, isn't she? She is sweet. Um, I did see, I think it was Patty Bennett did something with pink, pink wings. And that was what made me think, okay, I'm going to do that. But I was thinking, oops, let's just give that a press down with my tool. I was thinking, as I said earlier, for Valentine's, I think this ladybug set would team very well because ladybugs are generally red and black. I think they'd make lovely Valentine projects. And I was thinking, because you know my babies are grown up, but my grandchildren, well, Vivi is at preschool. And I thought maybe I could make her a couple of treats to take into her teachers before half term. So... Um, I've got myself some red ribbon in stock. This is, which one is this? So it's real red faux linen ribbon. I thought that would be great. And then I picked up these red hearts and thought a lovely little package <clears throat> could be created with these ladybirds. Okay, so let's just add... I think a couple of dimensionals to the word happy. And pop that. Over here. And Bit of Tombow on this. Oh, that was rather a lot. It's going to scrape that off a bit. Sometimes Tombow just doesn't play ball, does it? No, this is where my ladybird should have gone on after. It's a bit close. It's okay though. So we've got happy birthday now. Make sure you're stuck nicely. I didn't want to not use the frosted beads. I mean, how can you not love them? They are just so pretty. So I've pulled out some, some of the, the pink ones and I thought, why not use them as centers on my flowers? Now, they're tricky to get hold of. As I said, if you drop them on your table, they bounce and they're gone. Um, 
They're very tiny, but they're super sweet. I've tried picking them up with my take your pick tool and it didn't really work, but I love that they're frosted. So, and you will need to let these sit and dry for a bit. They take a little while to, to adhere. So you need to wait for the Tombow. Let's give them, I think that might be a different pink. Let's take you off a minute and grab another. There are two kind of different colors of pink. Is there enough Tombow left on there? There are two different colors of pink in this set. Let me open them and show you again. There's like a very pale pink and then there's like an in-between pink as well. Me being fussy, but I just think that one I just put on was a different pink. And then if I bring in my other one, because I don't want those little beads to fall off. You can see just how sweet they are when centered in the flowers. So that's my first make. Let's make a bit of room way so very sweet would see younger older female um make a great thank you card great everyday card so lots of white space you know me but i loved that little pop of color which is why i want to get that what's it called from the all together so this is the collection that's just released today all together designer paper is six by six and you get 48 sheets, but just love. Black and white papers are always so usable. And of course, if you've got a blending brush and inks, you can add color or you could carefully spritz on it. I, I probably wouldn't spritz on pattern paper, but you could add some color to the white pieces on black and white paper to make it coordinate with whatever you're doing. So that is card number one. Let's move that out of the way. And think about what is coming next. Let's bring in the next packet. So same colours. Blushing Bride Soft Sea Foam. Another white base. Hold that one in half. I will be inking up this ladybird in real red for sure because it's going to look so sweet. I mean, if you look around at the inspiration on Pinterest, most of them are, you know, general ladybirds in black and red, which are really sweet. But I just thought this was fun and more, more along my colour palette, dare I say. Okay, so we have got a layer of Blushing Bride, which looks bigger than... Nope, it's three and three quarters by five and three. And then I've got another layer of basic white, which will be three and five eighths by five and a quarter. Okay, so just an eighth off of that blushing bride. So what I'm gonna do first is create another background with this little stamp, because I think it's gonna be just such a handy one. I try not to dip my finger in it and make a smudge this time. If you're joining, um, please do say hello. I can see there's a couple of people hopping on. It's always nice to know who's with us. Don't be shy. We don't bite. Definitely don't bite. We just like to share and chat. So you can see where I've re-inked. And I'm pressing too much into my ink pad really, but I'm going to be careful. I'm not going to be rocking and rolling. I'm going to hold this stamp quite stable and just create. You'll be able to see better on this one. Let's bring in my mat and then we won't disturb the piece underneath. <clears throat> so this is so I go down at a diagonal and then the next one goes in between the two like this. And then I work in the same direction 
to fill in. So then I go in between the two, but kind of up another layer. And then I work down the page. So diagonally across, like in between the gaps of the previous. So it's kind of random, but it's not. It is kind of quite calculated. And we'll just put one at the top there. And it's easy to get carried away at that point and then end up with a whole sheet covered. But really pretty, dainty um, background using that set. There are some other dots in the set, these, which I guess you could, if you look at the stamp, you could kind of just ink up one side of that and use that as a background stamp. But obviously that works with, with the wings. Right, so we've just created that kind of ditzy little background. So I'm going to mount these two together. Quick look at comments. Thank you, Kay, and thank you, Annette. It's always interesting to know. Do, do you guys like a mixture? Are you like me where you only like your subtles or do you like a good mixture? of colour. And as I've said before, it's not that I don't love colour. I love projects that people do that are bright, but it's just when I create them, I find it hard. I was looking back this morning at this, what I did on a live a couple of weeks ago, but I actually love that. The more I look at it, the more it doesn't scare me. Um, so I'm getting a bit braver. Not everybody loves, loves soft and subtle, do they? It's definitely not for everybody. Right, let's layer this one onto our base and then we can start, do a bit more stamping and a bit more building up. Okay, so nice even border all the way around. Check we've got it the right way. Yep. Then I previously cut a larger hexagon Kim, you love this, this style, soft and subtle, but you also like bold colours as well. Yeah, which is good. And like I say, it's not that I don't like the bold colours. It's when I create with them, I, I start... I kind of question myself that... Are they any good? Because I guess, for me, they're out of my comfort zone. It's strange. It's a strange thing. I, and I think it, you know, it's a bit like with clothes we wear, isn't it? We, we feel comfortable in colours that we feel comfortable in. And when we put on something that's a bit out of our zone, it does make you feel a bit strange. Well, it does me. Right, what have we got in the little pot of goodness? Have we got a ladybird stamped ready? We do. We've got some wings. We've got a body. But the other thing I want to do, how beautiful is this leaf with these lovely vines running through it? I thought we'd do one of those. So let's bring in a scrap. And it doesn't help because I've re-inked my... Um, soft sea foam so i don't know if you can see but can you see just how fine the the etching is on this stamp now because this is maybe a little inky this may not work too well so i'm going to ink it up you can see it's like a bit can you see it's like a bit bubbly we've got the emergency side if it doesn't look so good because if it's too inky it will fill in that's not very good. Can you see we're like solid and then a, a bit wishy-washy. Let's use the emergency side. Still looks a bit bobbly, but we'll see. That looks better. Can you see how that's gone down a bit low, but it kind of filled it better, much better. Okay, so that's that gorgeous leaf. Really large, big size as well. Um, have I got any flowers? I've got some flowers already done. 
stamp loads of these. You know what I'm like, when I ink something up, I just get all the scraps of card out around me and cover anything that's next to me and with whatever stamps I've inked up. Let's, now I have got that leaf on the back of here, which you can kind of see through the shadow, but once I cut around this, you won't know that's on the back. So it's an easy leaf to trim around. Let's come a bit closer. Nice, like wavy, curvy edge on here. Always tricky getting in those edges when you're cutting that way and your cardstock gets in the way so you can't see what you're doing. But pretty easy cutting of course you don't have to fussy cut anything you can stamp it directly down onto your card and then i just want one of these flowers i'll have the big one that's the easiest one to cut out put those back in the pot i turned the heating up when i got over here and now i'm regretting it it was nearly 20 degrees but i felt a bit chilly probably because i've got short sleeves on well three quarter sleeves um and now i can hear the heating going and i'm gonna be getting too hot and have to turn it back down i'm gonna have a good mild night tonight should imagine the heating will be going off in the house so it just gets too hot upstairs in our house. It needs the heating downstairs because of all the stone walls and the stone floors. Um, but at night, it's just too hot upstairs. I'm taking that away, but I think I'll do all my stamping first. Let's have another happy birthday. Now, I'm just looking on my original. I'm just going to measure that. <coughs> Excuse me, cut myself a little strip, three quarters. I'm just going to cut that at three quarters because that works nicely with, with the depth of this stamp. So we'll cut one of those. But what I'm going to do first, because I'm not sure how straight, because this is uh, red rubber, um, I'm not sure how straight my sticker is on here. So what I'm gonna do is stamp the happy birthday and I'm gonna follow that line and see how straight it is. It's pretty much, in my eyes, it's pretty much straight on the sticker, straight on the stamp. So if I, might be a bit higher, a bit low though, that's the only thing. What did I do then? How did I manage that? Let's do it again. I rocked. It's a bit heavy handed on the top. It's a bit high. Let's do one more. Otherwise we'll use that one. A bit lower this time. It's hard because I can't get my head over to see. And I've rocked it again. We're going to use this one. I think it's because I cannot get my head directly over to see what I'm doing. Excuses, excuses. I know I can hear you all saying that to me. I am only human. Might just trim the bottom off a smidgey. Just so that the top and the bottom are even. that there's not such a big gap at the bottom. So we've got happy birthday. And then I thought I'd pull out this little my friend. Let's take that end bit. And just stamp. <coughs> Excuse me. The more I talk, the drier my throat gets. It's very annoying. Okay, let's just trim around this. You know me, I'm always snipping into our greetings. 
because sometimes the shape doesn't work for where I want it to go. My friend. I wonder if I can snip a little bit more off of there. It's quite tight, but it works. It will work. Then I need a little, a teeny tiny hex again. Let's bring in the dies. And this time I'm going to use one of these like solid hexagon dies, but it does exactly the same. Let's find a scrap. It does exactly the same thing as the other dies. We may as well just cut two while we're here. So I'll just run that through. I need to get this top plate sorted. It's just it makes it hard work when it starts flowing because everything moves about when you put it on the, the plate so it just cuts two individual dies which is quite handy it's quite quick where's the word my gone where did we lose it oh well we could just be having friend I just put down on top of it. Quick look at comments. Okay, of course, you are very true. The rocking I was getting, I was using my red rubber on my foam mat. Thank you for that. It is remembering, isn't it? I mean, I'm pretty good at remembering when I'm doing photopolymer to bring it in, but obviously not very good at remembering to take it out when I don't need it. But thank you for pointing that out, Kay. That's um, very important. Okay, what I thought I'd do on this layer, let's bring this back in. I'm going to have it like on, I've, I've, up to now I've used it on the reverse, but I'm going to have it on this side. Pull in my blending brush and my soft sea foam and I just want to add a bit of colour around the edges so not colour all over just so it's deeper on the outsides a little bit more on that corner Just so we get a different, <clears throat> I know we've got texture on here, but we get a different effect with, you know, that kind of like ombre-ish where it's paler in the middle. Let's bring the card in and start sticking. Now I do find with this embossing folder that the layers do curve a little. <laughs> I like your smiley face. Thank you, Kay. It's always good to know. Sometimes you're like, why did that happen? I don't think I was applying too much pressure. And that was why. So let's add some Tombow, quite a bit because, as I've said, this is quite a textured finish on here. I'm going to pop this somewhere over here. <clears throat> like that, quite a sweet finish. And then the leaf. I seem to have stuff everywhere today. I'm being a messy crafter today. Oh, nearly creased it the wrong way then. There's my little happy accident on the back. So I've just given that like a bit of life. I'm going to pop under a couple of dimensionals. I am generally a tidy crafter. I put things away when I finished using it, when I finished like with, so after my live, if I don't intend to 
stamp anything, I will completely clear my desk so that it's tidy to start again. And we'll just pop this one over here. Do I want to go a bit lower before it sticks? Over a bit. Like that. So just, isn't it lovely, that leaf? It's like a, looks like a, I'm going to say this, you're going to chuckle at me. Looks a bit like a lily pad. Don't know what kind of leaf it is. It's a very big one anyway. And blending brush again. And I'm just like tapping. I'm just going to add, you know, like we do with our daubers, just a bit of colour to the edge. Have to be gentle. See, that just stands out a bit. <clears throat> And I'm going to pop that. I'll put it on in a minute. Let's put the ladybird on first. You know, I was talking about my tool caddy that I bought. My lovely recycled tool caddy. I was looking on the website the other day for more wooden toys. Because, you know, when you've got a little play kitchen, and I love, don't know whether you guessed, I love playing shops and cafes with the girls and they love it too. So I've got lots of wooden, because don't try not to buy anything plastic, lots of wooden toys here. So anyway, I was looking on there for more wooden food to go in our little cafe in the playroom. And <clears throat> they've only gone and brought out another caddy, but it's smaller. And I'm like, guys, you're killing me. I, you know, You know I'm a sucker for storage might have to just it's in my shopping basket i might just have to have it hello Belle. how are you my lovely you've been for a blood test hope all is well you're loving the ladybird as well isn't she cute she is sweet she looks like she just wants to fly away so i'm gonna pop her down here so i just want a dimensional dare i say on her bottom because we've already a layer up here. If I just put some Tombow it up there, that will just anchor her in place. Hello, Alfie dog. And just pop her on there like that. This little hexagon is going to slide under there. like so so it's just popping out a little flower a bit of tombow on the back my tombow's look at that needs a wipe it's got a bit sticky and we'll pop that just there and let that stick for the moment. Just wipe the end of my Tombow. <clears throat> and then my greeting, which does look a bit crooky, but I'm not gonna faff. We'll just pop that one on dimensionals because we can. friend snip a bit of the edge Put Tombow all over my fingers as well Tombow when it dries it just everything sticks to it doesn't it any bit of fluff or dust and it's there right I need a little bit for that one I wonder if a mini will fit on there without showing just So happy birthday, my friend. So Coles is bringing the children over this afternoon. 
I was over there yesterday. <clears throat> uh, but she's going to bring them over this afternoon for a change of scenery. So I am sure we will be playing shops and cafes. Love a bit of role play, do I? Do I? That's not very good English. Does I? Old fashioned English. And then a little frosted bead to finish. I did think about adding in some bling, you know, like in a little triangle, but I thought, let's just keep it plain. Need to let that dry. Let's keep it plain and simple. And there we go, that's stamping. I'm gonna shut my lids. I've got another card to show you and a couple of bits <clears throat> that I've done or that you can do. But how are we doing for time? 10 past 11. Just bring in the one that I've done because I know it's dry. Make a bit of room. Put some tools away to make some space. In my world, a tidy space is a productive space. And I just wanted to show you another just looking. Annette, thank you, my lovely. You love my colour combination. You think it's always so elegant. That's kind of you. Thank you, Kay. You're enjoying the cards. So while I was playing with this yesterday, I came up with another card. So a little more simple, using the hexagons. But this time... <clears throat> where did I put that little bag? I made myself... A mask so I created a mask so I used the large hexagon could have done with a slightly larger piece of paper here and then what I did I took my piece of white I've got a piece here my white background I'm knocking my stand now so imagine this is this I took this piece Got my blending brush and soft sea foam. I'll just do it and show you because it's so quick, but I love the effect. But I didn't want to do another whole card because I thought you'd be bored of me. <laughs> and pick up some colour, take a bit off and then hold the mask down. Now this is why you need a bigger piece because you have to be careful about going over these edges. So I'm just going to put that there so that I don't actually go onto my layer and I could do with another one there and then just can't really pull that up add a bit of color and then when you lift it can you see how it'll build I need another hand but I don't want to let go of this I need another hand to get a circular motion of ink on this brush but if I just press really hard hopefully that will be enough. And then when we pull it away, I did move it. Can you see how we get this lovely masked, um, like layer, but it's flat. It's, you know, there's nothing on there, but it kind of looks like it's 3D. So I created that using one of the hexagon dies. But then I was thinking there's more to this punch than meets the eye. So obviously you can just punch out, have I got some wings that haven't been, no and I haven't got any paper, but I've got one that I've made earlier, just got this little bag of bits. So you can just punch out using this and you could then add on with this stamp just dots on cardstock, so you could just stamp onto that cardstock. So I love that about it. The punch is always handy. And then, with the, the, the wings, they could become petals. And also, leaves as well, behind flowers. So I just think it's such a great bundle. Let's just remind ourselves how much it is, because I know it's very inexpensive. 30 pounds, 50 pence only. So if you then topped it up, 
grabbed yourself the beautiful shapes dies as well you would be earning yourself a free gift from the celebration who doesn't love a free gift but you can make larger flowers smaller flowers i kind of got carried away with this i kept adding and adding and adding it doesn't need to be that many um but just love the different ways of using that so i think that is it for today my throat is telling me that it is so remember i've got um my six card classes coming up on my website later i was just in the middle of um doing the doing the post for it on my site before i went live and then i ran out of time so that will be coming up later so that's kits in the post but also class in the studio um i've got the coffee and card coming up as well so if you are able to get out if you're ready to come out and mix and mingle then come along and create a card then of course we've still got one month left of celebration um and another month left to join my team and earn yourself two free stamp sets have a quick look at comments Belle, you're so sweet never bored of me and my creativity thank you equally to you i mean we all inspire each other don't we Okay, you love the colours of choose. You wonder what fresh freesia or Highland Heather would look like. Oh, that would be beautiful. And I've just got some treats, actually, that are... You know me, I'm always shopping for treats. Um, I don't eat all of them. A lot of them do actually make it into boxes that I create. I am a bit of a grazer. Um, but I bought these cute little treats that were packaged in Highlandy Heather colour very interesting now you're inspiring me to play bell you didn't think you needed this set and i've enabled you yet again i am so sorry about that but you do it to me all the time <laughs> we enable each other don't we and that's what it's about it's about sharing what we love and um inspiring others to have a go so ellie fab cards thank you you didn't think you needed the bundle but you do now yeah it wasn't top of my list it wasn't top of my list. I mean, this little guy's cute. You know, he would make good sort of little boy cards as well, wouldn't he? Really cute. Need to add this punch to my list, though. Definitely. So, I think I will love you and leave you. Don't forget, you need to get these blends. You can actually purchase them um, as a collection, the whole set together under one code, or you can choose the pairs there for 8.25 a pair so that is now live right i will love you and leave you with all of these beauties and catch up with you very soon thank you Kay. thank you for coming by it, it really does mean a lot when when people stop by and comment it it makes a difference it really does so you know, my bucket is full this morning for crafting with you guys and I will be back with you very, very soon. So take care, safe travels while you're out and about and happy stamping everyone. So bye for now.